It's funny. I I wasn't I wasn't planning on being a musician. Um, I just it didn't seem like a responsible thing to do. Um, my my parents were, uh, you know, my parents were not the type of parents who can just support you for the rest of your life. So I figured it's important for me to be able to make a living. Um, and I didn't think that that would be possible by being a musician because it usually isn't possible. But it actually was possible, which was wonderful. Right when I was graduating, right when the job market was looking really crappy for college graduates and for everybody, um, I was about to take a job in marketing. And uh, I, I had a, I had been um, working part-time for the Ritz-Carlton while I was in college doing marketing for them, and I had a job lined up doing marketing at a winery. Um, and uh, I was about to take that job, and my dad just said, why don't you focus on the band for a little bit, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and uh, and so I'm, I'm very fortunate, I think, at this point that I'm not, you know, teaching French or doing marketing. Not that there's anything wrong with those jobs. I'm just glad that I'm doing this. Cause life wears you down and takes you for a run, run, run. So um, in the beginning, there were our solo projects. And then we decided after a couple years of dating that we would try collaborating together. And so we did Pomplamoose, and Pomplamoose took off, which was great. Um, and then when Pomplamoose was getting really big, it started to not only overshadow our solo careers, but also just kind of take over our lives in a, in a rather unpleasant way because it had been something that we really enjoyed doing for fun and suddenly it was becoming all business um, and so we decided uh, that in order to preserve our relationship and the band that we would take a couple steps back from it and um, so uh, we both started working on our solo projects uh, more intensely and so for the last two years we've been doing pretty much primarily that and, uh, and it's been going great for both of us, and now we're back to a point where we can imagine being happier, reinvesting in Pomplamoose again. So I think it was, I think it was the right thing to do. Go, oh, I just wanted you to get old. And I'm sorry that I Challenging songs was actually the one that I played. I just wanted you to get old. I think that was one of the songs where I just ended up sitting in front of my computer for hours and hours at a time and just looking at a blank page and trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to approach the topic of death and losing someone and feeling like you took someone for granted. Um, <clears throat> the lyrics were really what took up the most of my time because melodies and chords tend to come pretty easily to me, but um, but actually figuring out what you want to say is quite difficult. I've repeatedly underestimated um, the uh, the fan base that we have on YouTube. Um, I didn't think that it would be possible to make a living solely through M MP3 sales, and YouTube made that possible. I didn't think that it would be possible to sell out uh, 400 to 600 person venues on our very first tour, and that happened. Um, you know, I, I didn't think that I'd be able to raise $80,000 for my album, and I raised over $100,000 for it. So, so really, that fan base has repeatedly proven that they are not just in it for, you know, the one hit wonder, the the single ladies cover, the September cover, the Michael Jackson cover. They're not they're not in it for that. They're in it for the long haul, which is really encouraging. Cause it sure took me a while to Just for 
there's going to be a lot of touring going on this year. Um, there already actually, there already has been a lot of touring this year. Um, and uh, I'm also, uh, because of, I think, being on the road so much and the um, frequent uh, misery that goes along with that, I've been writing a lot too. Um, it's funny, the, the shows, you know, it's, it, I'm used to being on the road. I, I grew up on the road. My parents were missionaries, so, so we traveled a lot. Um, the shows are really great, but they're oftentimes, you know, sandwiched in between like less fun stuff. And in those less fun periods, I've found myself writing a whole bunch. Um, so I'm looking forward to not just touring, but also writing more, releasing more, and hopefully even doing something with Pomplamoose. You have to do that, because things don't seem all that bad to me. This is Natalie Dawn, and you are watching Babel Music. Please don't scream.